Hello, my name is Darren Thomas and I am the Director of Educational Research Techniques. In this video, we're going to get an introduction into joins in SQL. So let's go ahead and see if we can get started. So I'm inside my database manager here, dBeaver, and this is what I want to do. I have two tables here. I have MBA uh, season 17, 18 salaries and season stats. And what I want to do is I want to combine season stats and salary together. That's what I want to do. So to make this as simple as possible, let me show you a little bit from each of these tables and then it'll make more sense. So press control enter. So right here in my NBA season 17, 18, I have the salaries and the players names. I want to combine the salaries right there in this furthest right hand column. I want to combine that with season stats. So let me go ahead and show you the season stat table real quick. Right here. So this table I have statistical information and but I don't have the salaries. And so what I want to do is I want to combine these two together. Uh, also I have a lot of stuff that I don't need as well. You can see I have players from 1950 and stuff. But we're not going to deal with every complicated problem that this data set presents. So here's how we do this. A join allows you to combine data from two different uh, tables based on some sort of a criteria. So there are, there are details to it. For example, inner join, outer join. We're not going to deal with those ideals just yet. We're just going to do a, a simple join for now and cover details in later videos. So what I need to do is I need to clearly explain to um, my database manager what I want. So I need I already got select, sorry. Select and then I'm going to put MBA seasons 17, 18 underscore salary. And then I need to tell it exactly what I want. And I want season 17, 18. That is where the salary information is at. Then I put a comma and then I'm going to put the other table that is going to be a part of this particular um, demonstration here. So I'm just going to tab it over so it's easier to read and we're going to put season seasons stats dot asterisk. The asterisk means just take all the tables. In other words, I want all these tables down here to be in my new combined or join table, if you will. Now I need to do from where is this where is this information coming from? Well, it's coming from MBA season salary 17 18. So the salary information is coming from this particular table called MBA season 17 18 underscore salary. That's where it's coming from. And so now what I have to do is I have to say, okay, I'm going to take this information from MBA season 17 18 underscore salary. And what am I going to join it with? Where's the other data coming from? That's where I use my command join like so. And the other stuff is coming from season stats like this. Now I have to tell it on what criteria do I join them. In other words, there has to be something that both these tables have in, col uh, in common, a column they have in common. And in this particular situation, both tables have the player column in, in common. So that's what we're going to join them on based on that. So you use the command on and you say season stats dot player like so equals NBA underscore season one seven one eight underscore salary dot player like so and if I press control enter you can see I get my printout now I got a lot of information here from from several years so 2010 2011 all the way to 2017 for these guys to simplify this I could just use the where clause and put year equals 2017 press control enter and you can see now is limited by year so you can see how much these different players made now we still have duplicate names because sometimes a player will play for more than one team in a particular season. There are ways to remove this, but again, to keep things as short as possible, we're just going to, to leave that out for now. 
Also in my first column, I've been talking about this. I have my salaries right here, but the column is labeled season 17 18. This will probably, that probably will not make a lot of sense for the average person. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go back up to the top here and we're going to put in a as salary. And if I press control enter, now it has the proper name salary. So if we were to share this with, with someone else, they would be able to follow along and understand specifically what this column is addressing. And if I really want to be picky, I might want to put a capital S because all the other columns are capitalized and that solves that by pressing control enter. So that is essentially it for this video. What we did in this video was we combined the salaries of NBA players from one table with the statistical information in a different table. And in order to do that, we used a command called join. And so you can see the code right here. You have to select, of course, um, your information. So this first line right here is basically my salary information from the first table. And this second line of code right here is just the other table that I'm using from, that I'm getting data from. And the asterisk just means take all of the columns in that table. I could limit it if I desire to. Next, you have to tell it from what table. And so for our purposes, we put from NBA season, we put it from the table that this is where we're getting the salaries from. And we're trying to join it. Where does the, where does the other data live? The other data lives on uh, um, season stats. That's where it's called. And so we use the join command for that. And then we have to give it the criteria based on how do we match these two tables up when I take the data. When I take the salaries, how do I connect it to the stats in the other table? And the criteria that we use was the column called player. In each of these examples, this is what these two tables have in common is the player. And then the where 2017, that was just to kind of simplify and consolidate our data. There's nothing particularly special about that, but I picked this because this is the year from which the salaries came from the 2017-2018 season. So that's it uh, for this video. My name is Darren Thomas. I am the Director of Educational Research Techniques. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.